Welcome to a little bit of a different video for my channel. I've been getting this request a lot from people, and that's how to change your character's portrait in Mugen. Um, there's a couple ways. I'm going to show you the easiest way I do it, and that's um, basically I'm going to tell you one way. One way is you can make your own portrait that involves Photoshop and a whole bunch of other wacky things. Another way is you can download portrait packs for your characters such as today's character we're going to use is Ryu. I'm going to change Ryu's portrait. I have to show you. Or you could do what I do and that's say you have two separate characters which let's see if I can get this to work. We're going to go into this Mugen here, my little own backup Mugen. I'm going to go into Arcade here. Ah, yeah, see, you notice how I have two Ryus. Here's this Ryu, the one that's in my normal Mugen that I have with the Street Fighter Alpha artwork because I love Street Fighter Alpha's artwork. Now, say you don't like that artwork. Say you're more of a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 fan. So basically, but you don't like how that Ryu plays, the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Ryu, but you like how this one plays, but you just want to change that portrait. Well, my friends, I'm going to show you how you can do that. And it's simple. All you have to do, let me just see it. All you have to do is have Fighter Factory. It's easy. Go download that. Look for it. Go download it. And basically, all you have to do, always make a copy of the character you want to change and put it somewhere just in case you muck up something. So, But we're not going to do that for this because I don't need a copy because I already have a copy. Anyway, we're going to open up the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Ryu, in which we just downloaded. And now we're going to open up the other Ryu, which I have in the character folder here as Ryu. Which, as you can tell, it's uh, Phantom of the Servers, which... Uh, Cool thing about Phantom of the Server is that most of his characters have portraits already in there that you can change. Like, all you have to do is change it around. Anyway, we're going to go over to the sprite section here. Now, this Ryu, let's see. We're going to look for his portrait. Basically, you want to just scroll on through the sprites. All through the sprites. Every last one of them. Find that one portrait. That one portrait. Oh, look at all these damn effects. Holy smokes. That one portrait you wish to change. Which if I find it, it should be just somewhere after these stupid, 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 stupid. Where is it? These damn effects should be. There it is. There it was. Back, 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 back. There it is. Right there. Now you want to stay on this. Leave that portrait there. Now, go to the one that you want, like the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Ryu. Basically, I think his portrait's all the way at the end. Mo Usually, the portraits are all the way at the end or at the very beginning of the character. Boom. There's that Ryu. Now, we want to use that portrait for this Ryu's portrait. So, for that, we're going to have, like I say, Fighter Factory. You see where it says the PCX thing here with the little flash drive? Or the floppy disk, I should say? You click that. You hit OK. Um, just it's gonna save it to uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 review. If you see there, you can save it to the desktop anywhere. We're just gonna name it one. Hit save. Now we can close this review out. Boom. Now to change this portrait, we want that Marvel vs. Capcom 2 review portrait. So basically, we're gonna go to the folder that has the PCX on it. Open it. Now we're gonna find our portrait, which we put it in this folder. It's right there. Hit open. Uh, yes, we can crop the image. Hit OK. Boom. And now what you want to do is go to project. Hit save. As the uh, project saves. Yeah, sometimes the palettes will mess up too. And now if you see when we go inside this Mugen. So yeah, I go inside here. We'll go to training mode. There's the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Ryu. And there's the Ryu that we just changed the portrait for. See? That was kind of easy, kind of simple. As I said, you can create your own portrait, but that involves Photoshop and a whole lot of other stuff. Like I said, the best way, get Fighter Factory. Download that. You can download portrait packs, which people make, which is very cool. Or, like I said, you can just find another character. And if you don't believe me that this is a different Ryu, let's do this. Boom. And the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Ryu. Boom. Uh, let's go there. And you'll see soon enough. Look at that. That Ryu is now a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Ryu portrait. Hadouken. Anyway, I hope this tutorial 
was um, informative. I hope you got a lot out of it. Maybe somewhere down the line I'll do some more Mugen tutorials such as how to make your characters appear in a way that you want them to appear in arcade mode, like set up your arcade mode difficulty and all that. Maybe I'll do something on how to uh, add music to your game or whatever. Anyway, this is how you change their portraits. I hope it was informative. I hope you liked it. My name's Klinkeroth. Thank you so much for watching.